You're watching WMAR 2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News headlines. Well, the governor's former chief of staff is facing up to 25 years in prison. Prosecutors say he used his role to illegally get more than $275,000 from his former employer. Before becoming part of the Hogan administration in 2020, Roy McGrath was the executive director for the Maryland Environmental Service, or MES. Prosecutors say after starting his work in Annapolis, McGrath got MES to pay him a $233,000 severance package. He got the payment because he told MES that Governor Hogan approved it, but the governor did not. McGrath also got MES to pay for a museum pledge and for tuition benefits in the same way. Prosecutors also say he twice falsified his timesheets and illegally recorded private conversations at both jobs. Jeffrey Burnham, the man accused of two murders in Ellicott City last week, is back in Maryland. Tuesday, a West Virginia judge ruled to extradite him. He was caught there last week. He's in a cell in Allegheny County where he's facing another murder charge. Howard County Police say they expect Burnham to be officially charged in Howard County in the coming days. Baltimore County is set to host its annual free Super Weekend Flu Clinics. This year's clinics will be held October 16th and 17th at seven locations throughout the county. The vaccines are free. The county is encouraging them for everyone six months and older. Appointments are required. You can head to our website for more information on how to sign up. They're available from 9 a.m. till noon each day. More opportunities for that morning fog during the drive here. Temperatures in the mid 60s, climbing into the 70s, so pretty seasonable as we head into the afternoon. Unfortunately, it's going to be a pretty carbon copy of what we saw on your Tuesday. Uh, lots of cloud cover, limited rain chances, mainly south of the city, where temperatures hit 75 here in the city of Baltimore. Lower 70s near the Mason Dixon line. And that's going to be the forecast as we head towards your Thursday and Friday as well. Slightly warmer numbers, slight chance of a few showers for your Saturday, but our best opportunity to pick up any measurable rain arrives on Sunday. Day as the system pushes through the region, we're drying out with lots of sunshine and highs in the upper 70s by Monday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day. We'll bring you updates on top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're on the go, don't forget to download the WMER2 News app in your app store. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.